Okay, so what I did is um, I turned off the sound for the environment because it's thundering in uh, Guam. You'll see the lightning flashes, but I have the um, I have the um, sound turned down so it won't interfere with the uh, recording. Let me go inside the cockpit here and uh, we're inside the cockpit now you see there's no power on the aircraft right now uh, there's some things that uh, I definitely want to uh, figure out with this but um, right now I'll just um, you know test and see what's going on with it uh, let me go up and put some power on the aircraft. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, any. Doesn't look like we will we'll get any ground power here. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So we have the truck. And uh, it's getting ready to supply ground power for us. Uh, so let me jump back in into the uh, flight deck here real quick. Let's get the battery on and then we'll wait to see if he's got us hooked up with ground power yet. He does not. Got to place the cables out there and again you can see the lightning flashes. I just don't have, there we go, we got uh, the cable. I just don't have the sound on. So let's go and do the ground power. Let's turn turn on uh, IRS. You can hear now that I have the aircraft powered up. So you're catching that in the uh, in the headset. Let's go see and escape out. General options, sound, cockpit. Let's turn down the cockpit a little bit and see what we get. Aircraft engines, take that down a bit. Uh, and apply and save, go back, resume. Okay, so you can hear it, but just barely. And uh, on the recording, we'll see what that what that sounds like back on the recording. You know, I have some uh, some tools here, like Navigraph charts. I have Navigraph charts here, and uh, it's going to want me to log in. So over on my other screen, I'll log into Navigraph. And click OK here. And now I can close that. So we got Navigraph here. Um, it, there I am at Guam right here. Navigraph uh, chart starts out with the high end route. You can see that up here. Uh, let's. Um, let's do this let's see flights and do i have any guam in here i don't think i do okay um new flight manual input and we'll go from guam to Narita and that should do uh, auto generate my route auto generator route just for giggles and there we are right there uh, note I don't have a, um, a SID or I don't have a star, it's just 
when you get there. Uh, as a matter of fact, scroll down here and you see that it's just a direct to this waypoint, which is uh, UNS. Is that UNS? Yeah, that's UNS. Uniform November Zebra to Windsor, which is the next one. Alright, so if I wanted to, I could, um, see there's no departures, no departure procedures, and don't have a runway, we'll do uh, six left, so that throws that runway in there, uh, so six left, and no departures, no SIDS at all for uh, Guam. Now when we get to Narita, however, I have uh, all these approaches here. Uh, let's do this one and go and see what that looks like. Uh, RGAA and I did Ruta Rutas T Okay, so Rutas, there we go, this one. Okay, and, and there it is, I got the chart overlaid on that. Let me make this a little bit bigger here, you can see a little bit better. Uh, so, got the chart overlaid on that, and that was, a, that was a good pick. Bing, bing, bing. And then, and we're going to go into, let's do six or 34 left 34 left and there's 34 left uh, let's get let's get the chart here open charts list for that approach 34 left and that is Tyler, okay, so approaches 34 left, Tyler, okay, and um, that pretty much completes that, so I would uh, say that I would say that, now what I normally do is for each airport, I'll uh, pin the uh, appropriate charts down here in this area here but I don't have uh, SIDS for Guam so now I'll come over to Narita and the star was uh, Rutas T and that's it right there so pin that uh, Rutas T Rutas T I did the overlay uh, right there so I'll pin that and then the approach is 16 left is that what I chose 16 left yep 16 left and straight up and Y or Z let's choose Let's choose Y. Let's overlay that. Uh, let me get rid of this high route and go world map. And see that a little bit better. Okay, that works. And then uh, taxi. I usually pin the airport chart uh, down there too. Let's get rid of this. And this this dashed line is the uh, missed approach. Uh, let's see, and then I could save that. I could save it. Um, so, connected to the flight simulator, that's right there. And I can center back on the aircraft, which is right here. So, uh, since there are no departures, we'll go direct here and we'll stay 240 on the airspeed and then um, on, on the uh, direct to here 
and then at some point go up to 250 and start climbing. Uh, we are northwest bound, so so we have a westerly uh, flight, so that'll be uh, 340, flight level 340 uh, that we'll take there. And uh, let's see what else do I have here. So that is that's about it for the flight planning. So I have that now. And then um, I would most likely let's see here. And then um, I am going to go over to uh, Simbrief and see what Simbrief throws at us. Uh, Logins, Simbrief. Sign in the SIM brief and then go to the dispatch system and create a new flight. And I don't know, let's call it United Airlines um, and 231. We're departing Guam, Ghana, and going into Narita. Okay, we'll leave that same. We're going to do a um, 787-10, that's United, so we'll select that. And this is what it gave for the um, for the uh, flight plan here, the flight path. So let's see how that marries up. B586, let's see what we get here. Uh, go back into the simulator. So Baffy. It shows uh, B586. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring it back up and move this to my uh, other monitor for a sec. So, um, 586 to Sabri. That's what uh, Simbrief has. Uh, then the Airway Yankee 873. To Fito, yeah, and then Yankee 8 7. This has uh, Yankee 8 1 to Baffy. So I would most likely Yankee 8 7 to Baffy. And that is, let me look at the map here. And Baffy is the uh, last in route, according to Simbrief. And here, the last in route is so. If I wanted to, I could take and copy the um, Baffy A6 Sabri and then Fito and why I could change this to Y87. to Baffy to Baffy and then direct to Rutas save that and see what it will look like there we go uh, so there's Rutas and there is Baffy then with that direct okay all right, so that is the sim brief plan there. And if I had if I had saved that, I could come up to flights, uh, new flight, and then from sim brief, and that would have loaded that 
uh, that flight path with the um, with all of the uh, airways and such right into here but uh, hey generating that uh, flight plan right from within Navigraph uh, did a pretty spot-on jobs except for uh, this portion here which is uh, Y87 on that airway and then exiting that airway at Baffy and then a direct to Rutas and then to the uh, Rutas Tango arrival and then RJ Tyler that's just transition up to the approach and then uh, landing on uh, 34 left ILS then save that and flights and sort this sort by date okay boom 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 and end of flight list so that is that looks good all right then i normally after i get my charts then i'll close this down here because i don't need that anymore and then uh collapse that and then all i have to do now is uh, on the arrival bang just overlay that and uh on my arrival venus at two 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 zero knots at eleven thousand and then um uh, U mil at two two zero at eleven thousand, then peaks six thousand. Uh, so two two zero here. By the time I get to peaks, then you know I'm I'm pretty much down to uh, approach speed because then I'll be hitting the approach here. Show the labels. So um, uh, Tyler, Gina, Cosmo, and then. Uh, landing on the runway and then if I do a missed approach uh, gum yo and then uh, Delta 160 Yankee down to binks and hold and then release from that hold and probably go right back to Tyler bang and back in all right so uh, that's that's it now I can close this but anytime I want to bring it back up and then there we go um, then center it back on my departure which is um, Guam and Guam all right so that looks good taking off six left all right and if I if I minimize it then it will just collapse it down here if I use this right here it will let me bring up fraps run fraps so right now my um, frame rate is 44 47 somewhere around there if I were to take and move this over to notice how my frame rates dropped notice that because I click this button right here to be able to move um, Navigraph charts over to my uh, other monitor and so I move it to my other monitor and my frame rate still stay down here so I've lost almost half of uh, the frame rates and um, so I kill it and bring it back over here I just you know uh, hit that X hit the uh, X for close over on my monitor where my second monitor where uh, Navigraph was installed and when it comes back over I get my frame rates again uh, so long as I don't move um, the Navigraph charts to my second monitor I won't have my frame weight rates affected so all I'll do is I'll close it or either minimize it or close it and then anytime I need to bring it back just come up to the toolbar and then there it is right there so my, and my frame rates won't get seriously affected by um, by moving 
Navigraph charts over to my second monitor. Something I found out uh, early on. It's like, wow, ooh, that really knocks my uh, frame rates down in the simulator when I do this little move right here with this middle button right here. It really knocks my frame rates down. So I wasn't happy with uh, that by any means. All right, so that's pretty much it uh, for this video here. Is there anything else I'd like to show in this video? I got to push back here. So we're not pushing back. Um, under aircraft options, I can call for fuel. I usually don't do this because I run the heavy mod in, uh, with the uh, 787 and what I'll do is go in and payload manager and I'll do my fuel load here, my payload here. So instead of calling the truck, because the truck gets crazy, man, it's running into stuff. It's coming, you know, driving through the fuselage <laughs> of the airplane. So I'm not, uh, not particular about that at all. So I'll do my fuel loads in the, on the heavy menu because I have the heavy mod installed for the, um, 787-10, the Asabo 780, or B787-10, so I'll do that instead. Um, oh, there's my power. You saw me call for power. Let me go outside, and you can see the power is still on and available. Let me go back inside, uh, go back to here, and then I can call for catering. Jetways, if there is a jetway there, stairs, baggage, and open these doors here off the pushback menu. Uh, some options here interactive pushback audio, I have that turned on. You'll hear the pilot uh, call for pushback, and you hear the ground crew talking to the pilot. Um, simulated nose wheel lift. Sometimes at certain airports, when you do the nose wheel lift, when the um, pushback tug gets there it'll lift the aircraft off the ground and some in some airports man that aircraft is lifted way above the uh, tug vehicle itself uh, so you, you have that um, there's a lot of stuff that I've turned off on the toolbar uh, let me get, get it back um, I have the pushback I turned off ATC that was so annoying I got my cameras on turned off the checklist because I use another checklist basic controls I keep that I've kept that on uh, flight assistance and fuel I can really turn fuel off because I don't use the fuel let's turn that off and that disappears I don't use the fuel truck at all okay and then some some other stuff so um, this is on this these are the only things that I'm really interested in on the uh, toolbar here. Um, anything else new? I believe that is about it for now. And I got other videos coming up on a lot of other stuff uh, also. All right, so um, let me turn fraps off. Turn that off. F11 will turn the frame rate indicator off. So I'll turn that off. Um, and then, uh, let me power, there's nothing I did down here, so all I did was apply power to the aircraft, or uh, go F5, and then, um, and then get rid of the truck, and power off, and let's jump outside real quick. There he goes, no cable, and there he goes. All right, so that's it. Again, we'll see you in more videos.